Hi, cellos. We are starting Crossings, this uh, piece called Crossings. And really the name comes from the technique you're doing with your bow, which is crossing the string a lot. Um, to start off our learning with this song, we really do have to practice um, some technique uh, builders so that we are able to do string crossing quickly. In order to do string crossings, the first thing we need to make sure we can do is play two strings together. So set your bow on the A and the D string. It doesn't require you pressing. It just requires that you go to the correct angle with your bow. Go ahead and pull four open Ds and As with me. Now if for any reason you are having this happen, you probably are pressing with your pinky and pushing with your thumb. So we want to think about our bow hold as kind of just really, really relaxed and floppy. Practice relaxing, angling, and let's play four again. Now, moving on to the string crossing. What you need to realize is when we do fast string crossings, you wanna be right in the center of your bow, okay? And when they're fast, we need to use like two inches of our bow, if that. Go ahead, if you think about it, as you're tipping the bow back and forth, you wanna just basically be barely playing a double stop, kind of. So, in other words, the tip is so little that you might accidentally play two strings at a time. So think about that. Also think about when you're tipping, it's not an arm motion. It's a wrist motion. So your wrist is going up and down like that, okay? I want you to try setting your bow in the middle putting it on the A string, and just practice the tipping motion, making sure you're going down bow on the A, up bow on the D, down bow, A, down, up, and again, you're trying not to move your arm, even I have to remind myself. Good, so again, when you're doing string crossings, you're trying to get the angle of the bow to the bridge as, as close as possible. So you're not tipping way up and down and using your whole arm. You wanna just use your wrist. Let's do high A, open A, and open D. Let's do it 10 times, all right? So let's practice. Ready, go. Down, up. Second time, third time, fourth time, just little tips, fifth time, six, just that wrist, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this should feel relaxed, it should feel easy. And eventually, it's just a little wiggle here that you're able to do the string crossing for crossings. Go to measure 29 in crossings. We're only going to do this one measure. So we set our bow in the middle like we just learned, and we know there's an F sharp in between the two open strings. Let's try playing just measure 29. Ready, go. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Let's do it again. Nice, simple, not loud, very small movement. Ready, play. So 
as you get faster, you really have to time your left hand appropriately. Timing that left hand finger. So cellos, now we're gonna play measure 29 through 37. 37 through 45 is break, basically the same thing. But for the purpose of this video, let's just play measures 29 through 37. Set the bow in the middle. Make sure your bow is straight. One and two and ready. Here we go now. Down, up, down, 